On the 15th day of the race, it is clear there are two races within the race, arbitrated by a complex weather system. Wind on the outposts, but nothing much for the pursuers. We have a high pressure cell, which is going to block the way. There's a closed gate, and the attendant is on strike. On top of which, the barrier is not working, and so we can't fiddle with it. It sure closed itself, darn tight, slam. Ahead, they're dashing like crazy. We're gonna have 2,000 miles delay by the time we access the south. Can you imagine? And it's gonna be worse for the ones behind. How awful. Oh, the weather, I can't figure it out. I have no idea which way to go. From a sporting point, he's still in the lead. Let's note Alex Thompson's stout resistance despite the loss of a foil. And Morgan Lagravier's great performance, the fastest with 21.1 knots average speed over 24 hours. Still great windy conditions, invigorating. I kind of have the feeling I'm on board a spaceship with a lot of humidity on the outside, but also, unfortunately, inside as well. That's it. It should calm down in the days to come. I hope. Otherwise, last night, Enda Okoinin, 4,143 kilometers behind the head of the race, celebrated in his own way the crossing of the equator. Three, two, one. Magic! <laughs> this is for real! Hey! Tonight, there are only two skippers left in the Northern Hemisphere. Dida Costa and Sébastien Destremo stuck up in the doldrums. Not a breath of wind since last night. Not the slightest sigh. Nothing. <laughs> 